Hi guys, this is Mike and this will be a comparison video between my current delay and reverb setup, the Source Audio Nemesis and the Strymon Flint versus the new and if I might add very cool looking Source Audio Collider. So we will listen to some samples and after that I will give you my opinion on these pedals or setups. I will do direct comparisons between the reverbs, the delays on the Nemesis and on the Collider sound the same. I will not focus on sounds that the pedals can't do. For example, there is no shimmer reverb on the flint, or there is no degrade delay on the collider. So I will just focus on what both of these setups can do. Okay, so without further ado, please listen in stereo for the best experience, and here we go. Enjoy. <laughs>
Okay guys, welcome back. So here's my opinion. First of all, I have to tell you, if you buy the Collider, the first thing that you should do is update the firmware of it and set the whole thing to your liking. This is very easy to do with the Neuro Desktop app, but saves you a lot of headaches. My unit, for example, came with an older firmware and it was almost impossible for me to tap the tempo with the foot switch. It just kept turning the delay off and on and that was a pain in the ass. But then I updated it and set the foot switch to 500 milliseconds, which really makes tap tempo easy now. The pedals by Source Audio give you deep editing possibilities. That's one thing I love about them. And they are like the only ones that I know of that do that. Having said that, the Collider isn't aimed at people that want to use an app or tinker with the sounds. This is designed so you can access all the things this pedal has to offer on the front of it. You still can tinker with the sounds in the app and save favorite presets on the pedal, but you can't use other engines. I mean, I understand the thinking behind that, but I wished we had at least one spot, one place at the dial here to maybe save one of the other great sounding engines from the Nemesis delay or the Ventris reverb. I also wish they had put the delay function on the right side and the reverb on the left side. First of all, that's how most people are using these effects, uh, delay on the right and reverb on the left, so it would be just logical to do that, and also most people are using their right foot to tap tempo. 
because right now tapping tempo feels kind of strange. But all of those things are just minor complaints, because let's face it, at the end of the day what it really comes down to is sound. And here the collider definitely delivers. This is really a very cool, very pristine sounding delay and reverb combo, that in my opinion just sounds lush, big and expansive. As I demonstrated, the delay side sounds just like the Nemesis, so no surprises there, and the reverbs of the Collider just sound very different to what the Strymon Flint has to offer. Is it for me though? No. I'm kind of used to having two separate pedals for delay and reverb, and I like that this gives me the option to swap them out and try different pedals, different flavors of delay or reverb. It's almost like a modular system for me. And I would miss the great engines of the Nemesis, like the noise tape or the great engine. The Collider is kind of like a Source Audio Greatest Hits collection. You get the good stuff that everyone wants and loves and expects, but those two or three other things that you personally love aren't on there. But still, if you are searching for studio quality delay and reverb sounds in one box and you don't need whacked out delay engines, definitely try out the Source Audio Collider. It's truly a beautiful sounding pedal. And this ends my shootout. I hope you liked it. Please leave a comment, like and subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye.